Hey Corona, I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Tess Menzies. This is the final broadcast of CDS TV. Attention students who have, may have received the Corona Del Sol Academic Award and or Presidential Academic Award. The lists of students who have received these awards are posted in each classroom as well as on the counter in front of Ms. Olson's desk in the main office. You may pick up your award from Ms. Olson in the principal's office from 7.15 a.m. through at the end of both lunches. The awards will not be available after the end of fifth lunch or after school. You must show your ID card in order to receive the letter. The last day to pick up your award will be next Tuesday. Congratulations to all who achieved this honor. Students taking AP exams, remember you must bring your photo ID to the test location. Absolutely no backpacks allowed. Absolutely no cell phones allowed. Bring children's books to the activities office this week for the book club book drive. Get NHS points for your con contributions. Student council applications are for appointed positions are now available in the activities office or in room E277. Seniors, information regarding across the stage pictures is now available in the activities office. Also, seniors, don't forget to register for grad night. Don't miss out on all the fun. Pick up a registration form in the activities office. Attention architect members, completed applications to be an architect's officer next year are due today in Ms. Johnson's guidance office. Now for a look behind CDS TV with Evelyn Ruby. Over the year, CDS TV has been joining you in the comfort of your homeroom class. They gave you the news. They gave you laughter. They gave you a piece of their soul. These on-air wonders have been capturing the hearts of students all over the campus. But the untold story behind the camera is a beautiful, epic tale. Today, we're going to bring to you a very special part of that story and go behind CDS TV. Anybody want a can of lacquer? Yeah! Here you go. This group of young, beautiful people came together to make the 2007 CDS TV cast and crew. They were a loving, happy people. They wanted to bring unknown levels of awesome to the world by working together and being a team. What my job is, is I, I assign jobs to people. And so this is this is the assignment for this week. Uh, I think I think it's pretty evenly dispersed among the class. I I, I really don't know. I really don't know what I'm supposed to say from coming to this class and sitting on Forbes' couch and and and. and helping set up the stage for Mr. Forbes. Look, we have a deadline. A deadline. You know what that means? That means that we have to get our stuff done on time or things don't happen. All right, get to work. You guys smell that? I still smell it. I smell it. Hey. You guys got a whip. It's me. I told you guys. I'm. That's me. Broadcast after broadcast, we knew this year would come to a close. So here it is, our final broadcast. We hope you've enjoyed the journey. Thanks, Evelyn. That was great. Get your copy of Corona's Literary Magazine for only $3. See a Spectrum member or Mrs. Durian in room E227 to purchase your piece of CDS history. Pick up your copy today. Attention all spring sports athletes. Please turn your equipment as soon as possible to the equipment room. Come to the Choir Pops concert tonight and tomorrow at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Get your tickets now in the bookstore for this concert, Let's Go to the Movies, before they are sold out. Tickets are $8 for adults and $5 for students. What movie should we see? Pops 08. I heard that was really, really good. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's, let's go. go. Okay.
Cole Corona. Thanks for tuning in to the final broadcast of CDS TV. Signing off for the last time, I'm Matt Olson. And I'm Tess Menzies. Have a great summer, Corona. Where are you? And I'm so sorry. I cannot sleep. I cannot dream tonight. I need somebody and always. This sick, strange darkness comes creeping on so haunting every time and as i stared i counted the webs from all the spiders catching things and eating their insides like indecision to call you and hear your voice of trees on will you come home and stop this pain tonight stop this pain tonight don't waste your time on me